Well, we are one step closer to seeing the biggest skyscraper in the United States actually get built, and it's happening in Oklahoma City as they try and build a super city with possibly an MLS stadium along with an NBA arena that's almost connected to the entire district where the Legends Tower will be. The massive skyscraper that is not fully approved yet, but they have gone ahead and secured the financing for the tallest U.S. skyscraper. That's according to the developer, and this recently came out a few days ago. Funding has been secured, and construction may begin in September on the Legends Tower in Oklahoma City, which is planned to be the tallest in the United States, according to their developer, designed by a Californian architect studio, AO. The Legends Tower super tall skyscraper plan for OKC is fully funded as of early March, according to reporting and the local news outlet, The Oklahoman. Manson, the developer, has said that he has secured the $1.5 billion required for the Legends Tower, along with three smaller towers around it. And you can see in those renderings, the surrounding towers, we're going to be discussing what's going in all of these towers. The Legend Tower, a massive hotel being installed. And not just that, the further development of Oklahoma City, the tower, if it is completed, will rise to just above 1,900 feet, 581 meters in the air, which would be the tallest in the United States and the fifth tallest in the world. As And it is interesting because I'm sure people are very surprised that Oklahoma City could potentially get the tallest skyscraper. But when you look at the United States as opposed to other countries based on how big our economy is, we really don't have ambitious, crazy goals for massive skyscrapers like a lot of the Middle Eastern countries, Dubai, and just the overall UAE in general. Now, obviously, New York City is known as kind of the skyscraper capital here in the United States with the crazy amount of high-rise buildings that they have, and maybe they will build two World Trade Center. However, I don't think it'll be taller than the Freedom Tower or one World Trade Center, which if you include the tippy top of it, It is the tallest skyscraper in the United States. According to the developer, there are preparations on the site that could begin in June. So this is a project that's about to start. If everything goes well, they will have to get a building permit in September with the entire project already being financed, including the tower, as long as the tower gets approved. So the tower still has to get approved, but the funding is there for the $1.5 billion complex, the three smaller surrounding buildings, along with the massive Legends Tower, as you can see from these renderings, the site at which it will go on. Originally, the skyscraper was to have a height of just above 1,700 feet, but just weeks after the initial announcement, they said that there was going to be an extension to the skyscraper to make it taller. The building will house hotels, residencies, and commercial space. The article later talks about how it's the right place, right time for Oklahoma City to have a huge development. And again, it's not just the skyscraper and the surrounding three smaller buildings. It is also possibly an MLS stadium going up near this area along with a brand new NBA arena. And the NBA arena is expected to cost around $900 million, which is actually pretty low for a North American new arena slash stadium. Generally, state or arenas are going to cost less than stadiums, but still, if you get it under a billion dollars, that is a relative steal. And you can understand with it being built in Oklahoma City and not, say, for example, Inglewood, California, where the Intuit Dome is going. The Intuit Dome, a lot more expensive than $900 million. You can understand the cost of building a lot less. Obviously, if there was a tower like this going up in New York City, the price tag would be significantly higher than $1.5 billion. But we don't have any official renderings on the new arena that the Oklahoma City Thunder will be getting. The only thing that I saw was kind of a, a rendering that was mainly based on the Legends Tower and the surrounding three smaller towers, that complex. And there's kind of like a new arena, or maybe that is the Paycom Center, I'm not sure, but it certainly doesn't look futuristic or like it's a new arena or anything like that. So I would say Oklahoma City is getting a ton of stuff in terms of development. Look out for a potential arena rendering 
uh, when it comes to the surrounding area of the Legends Tower and possibly having a massive skyscraper. Now, the actual use of the Legends Tower, if you want to go in-depth with it, it's officially called a mixed-use building that's going to have hotels, apartments, and retail functions. It's going to include a big hotel, almost 2,000 apartments, and over 100,000 square feet of retail stores and restaurants. The top floors will also feature a restaurant along with an observation deck, which will give you a good view of Oklahoma City. And then the surrounding three buildings, the smaller buildings around the Legends Tower will include restaurant space, open plazas, parking garages, a lagoon, the new Oklahoma City Thunder Arena, as well as another hotel on top of that. There are people that think that this project has issues in terms of zoning, considering this is a massive skyscraper going up in a Midwest city. It is certainly unique. And it's a project we're going to have to follow now that it has secured funding. And again, there's multiple things happening in Oklahoma City. The arena, this is the Oklahoma City Thunder new NBA arena, will be paid for with $70 million in MAPS 4 funding and $50 million from the Oklahoma City Thunder ownership group. Uh, the city agreed to spend a minimum of $900 million on the arena. All right, so if they're saying a minimum of $900 million, I think it's safe to say it's probably going to be a billion. That, that would be my guess on a new arena. I'm very excited to see the renderings on the new arena because I would imagine if you're going to do renderings for a new Oklahoma City Thunder arena with the location and the proximity to the Legends Tower, you would also have to include renderings for the Legends Tower. And we've seen other NBA teams, specifically the Philadelphia 76ers, come out with kind of a, a mini skyscraper attached to their potential arena that they want to build in 2031, the 76er place at Market East. The Legends Tower would certainly not be attached to a new NBA arena, but it would be within the same vicinity. And it would certainly be a distinct visual when you're talking about going to an Oklahoma City Thunder game at their new arena with how close possibly the biggest skyscraper in the United States could be. It still does have to get approved, but this is a hurdle here. The funding is officially done and approved for around $1.5 billion. So that is the update when it comes to the Legends Tower, the possibly biggest skyscraper in the United States going up and the fifth biggest in the world and they want to possibly begin or at least prep the site for construction as early as June and officially get the permit for building it, you do have to think, just in terms of the idea of Oklahoma City having the tallest skyscraper, does it really matter? You know, would New York be that pissed off about it to where they'd say, no, you know, it's got to be shorter, it's got to be, you know, you got to cut it down a little bit, so we retain the tallest skyscraper here in New York. Is that something that would be contentious? I know there are people within New York City that aren't a fan of Oklahoma City possibly having the tallest skyscraper. It'll be an interesting story to follow, but either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.